Hello everybody, in this video I'll be showing you how to set up LiveSplit for speedrunning. Anyways, first things first is you want to head over to their website, LiveSplit.org, so you can download this program. You want to head over to the download tab and download the latest version of LiveSplit. Once you download it, it'll be in a file like this. You can either open this with 7-zip, WinRAR, whatever you want to use the open files. I'll have both WinRAR and 7-zip in the description for you, but simply what you want to do is make another folder, I don't know, call it like, Imer, sure. Uh, you want to open it, drag and drop all its contents into the file right here. Once you're done with that, you don't need that file anymore, and you have live split. So to actually open the program, you want to launch the EXE. Alright, once you launch it, it's going to look like this, a pretty lame timer. But I will be going through most of the features that will help you set up it. First things first, is you want to head over, right click, Edit splits. These will be your splits, your segments. So right here, you have your game name. Right now, I'm currently speedrunning Mario Odyssey, so I'll put Super Mario Odyssey. In most cases, there will be pre-made splits on speedrun.com for your game and your category. So you can simply download them there, or you can make your own. So after you got your name, you have all the categories. Usually it has most of the categories here. And if your category is not here, you're most likely doing category extension. Which with that, you would want to put category extension to the next next to the, the game name. And you get all the category extensions. But we're not doing category extensions, so we're just gonna simply do normal name and do any percent. This is your start time. If you put a negative symbol in front of it and a time, like four seconds, so a negative four seconds, and click OK, it'll have a delay from when you press your keybind to start the timer like this See the delay is going and then the actual timer goes as soon as it hits zero back into the splits you have your attempts you can edit them however you want but you probably should start at zero also some games have auto splitters mostly games for computer have auto splitters which pretty much just split for you so you don't have to split uh, i have played some games that have auto splitters they're very nice now, if icons, this is just an icon for a split, so we could do, I don't know, that, that'll be our icon. Segment name is the name of the split, so I don't know. Moon Kingdom. And there we go, we've got Moon Kingdom. Right there. And these three things right here, split time, segment time, best segment, you don't have to worry about putting anything in there. Because once you do a run, all of that will be adjusted for you. To add another split, just click insert above or below. So you can add as many as you want. For additional info, you can put the copy of your game, physical or digital, or anything else. The platform you're playing on, the version, and how many players there are. And some games you can do regions. Some games also when you go to additional info, it has the rule set for the games and the category. With that done, next thing we'll do is go to edit layouts. This will be changing the layout of your splits. So right now we have the title, which is the title right here, our splits, our timer, and our previous segment. Sorry to interrupt, but while editing, I noticed I didn't go over the settings page. Right now, we have your hotkeys, start split, redo, undo, all the stuff right here. One thing that you want to have turned on is global hotkeys. This allows you to be inside your game and still press the button and for it to split. That's all I had to say. Now back to the video. If you want to add anything, click the plus button and you got a whole list of things to choose here. At timers, we got detailed timer. All this does is has the top one is your timer for the whole run. And the bottom one is the timer for the splits. Lists, these are just normal splits and then sub splits, those are splits inside of splits. It could kind of get confusing, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Information, most of these are just for like seeing what you save time on, if you're going to save time. So, I mean, they're worth having if you want them. Media, we have a graph, which is just a graph that goes up and down. You also have sound effects and then a video. These videos, I'm pretty sure it's just so you can input a video of your PB run if you want to compare. But uh, most people don't do that nowadays for their runs. I don't know what control does or other. So you can do whatever you want with that. Now for the layout settings, click on layout settings. Also, if you don't like having your timer vertical, you could have a horizontal, so it covers up more of the screen. But I'm doing vertical. Alright, now the layout settings. 
this can be kind of confusing and kind of scary the first time you look at it but most of the time it's fine so right now you have the color which is the background color of your splits the opacity of what your splits will be the font for the timer the times and then the text you have anti-aliasing and drop shadows drop shadows just separate a little bit of the text so you can see the text easier anti-aliasing well it's just anti-aliasing for the text this is just preference it doesn't affect your gameplay at all that segment this is the color that you'll get for your best time on that split you could either do gold or you can do rainbow all these you could change to your liking but i keep them on default Always on top, you most likely want to have this on so you can always have your live split always open and it's always the first thing you see. It can never go under programs. Title if you want to, which I recommend if you're trying to do green screen, is put it plain instead of a gradient. Instead of our title color, just changing it. Uh, for here, you can show game name, category, attempts, uh, show finished run count, so it'll do a comparison. I have zero complete runs, but I've done that many runs, if that helps you. Game icons, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, and then your additional infos down here also for region and platform. Now for splits. Background color, if you want to, you can have it plain for green screen. Total splits, this is how many splits you are going to have on your thing. So say I have five splits. That's how many splits you'll have. Starting from the first one to the very last one. And this shows you how many up and coming splits that you have. If you're trying to do green screen, you want to turn show thin separators off. That pretty much just makes it easier to separate the different splits. But if you're doing a green screen, have it off. Most of these settings explain themselves, so I don't have to go too in-depth in them. Split height, that just changes how big it is, but you could also just do it by dragging it up and down. Current split background, this is when you're on a current split, it'll have this color. For example, it's already on blue, but if I do a splits, this is the blue it's talking about. You can change this however you want. I keep mine on default, but uh, do whatever you want with it. Color, icons, accuracy. This is the accuracy of the timer if you want it for different seconds. If you just want seconds, milliseconds, stuff like that. More colors, more accuracy stuff. Some games have it, so if you're not in, like, say, the top 10 runs, you don't have to have milliseconds. But most games, that doesn't really matter. Now onto the timer, again, playing background if you're trying to do green screen. Timing method, there's a bunch of different timing methods. M most games have different timing methods going from real time to game time. So activate whatever your speedrun requires. Hey, that's just the height of the timer. Again, timer color, doesn't really matter. Gradient, this is the text gradient. As you can see, it goes from white to dark. But if I have that off, it's just all gray. Again, this is for the game. So if you just want a second or you want milliseconds. And this is the decimal. This changes the size of the decimal from the behind it. I usually just keep it around this range. Not trying to make it bigger than the, the first number. Give you a segment if you want the green screen. Again, have it plain. And then this will be comparing it to what you want. So say you want to compare it to your personal best. And there you go. Or best segment. Or, I don't know, average segments. Color stuff, more accuracy stuff. More color stuff, more accuracy stuff. And stuff like that. All right, now I'll be showing you how to get a green screened splits on your stream. Here are my Mario Odyssey splits. You can see it's purple. Those are one of the colors. So if you want this purple color, what you want to do, change layout settings, change everything to plain. All these colors to plain. And now if you want to, on this video, you can use the eyedrop tool and drag it onto the splits. Here is the code for the purple color, or you can use RGB, whatever you want. This is the purple color. So you just want to apply this to everything. And there you go. You have your pink color. All right, now I'll be showing you how to put it in your OBS. So I'm just going to go to a black screen right here. What you want to do to capture your live split, you want to do a window capture. Okay, turn that on. Have it to your live splits. I'll just use these splits as an example. And what you probably want to have off that most tutorials do not tell you about is capture cursor. So right now, if we hover over it, you can see my cursor. Turn that off. When I click on it, you cannot see the cursor. This is very, very, very nice. All right, now for the green screen effect. What you want to do is right click, filters, and add a chroma key filter. Now for color key type, 
you want to go to custom, select, pick screen color, and just click that pink. Now you can see you do not see it, but we can fix that. So for similarity, you want to put this on 75, okay? Smoothness, N. And then key color spill, you could keep that same. All of this, you could keep the same. And there you go. You have your green screen splits. Obviously, you do not want your splits this big of a size on your screen. Have one like, I don't know, that size you want to. But that is how you do the pink or purple, whatever you want to call it, green screen. I find that color works the best. since not that many things are going to be purple on your splits. Now, if you want to type a green, this is the green color you want. For the code, I'll put it on screen here. This is the green that we'll be using. All right, here's another color that works as a green screen. This one is green, obviously. Now for this one, you will not be using the exact same settings as the purple one. So I'll, be, I'll show you how to green screen this screen. Same process as before. Filters, chroma key, custom, and select. Now for this, you want to turn smoothness all the way down. And you want to put similarity around 27 to 30. You could turn the smoothness up a little bit. This is generally what you're going to have. For this one, you can still see the green. This is why I like the purple better, because I feel like it just chroma keys way better. So then there you go. You got this one green screened also. I hope this helped you set up live split. If it didn't, then I'm sorry. There are definitely other tutorials that are probably way better than mine. But if this did help you, do thumbs up, subscribe. I'm going to be posting more speedrun type content later. Also, I do stream on Twitch. I'm currently speedrunning Mario Odyssey and might switch to other games soon. So give me a follow and I'll uh, say hi. Anyways, until next time, good luck, have fun, and goodbye.